As Mueller's investigation inches closer to the White House, some Republicans are trying to cast doubt on the agency itself, but their attacks are slowly starting to crumble. They recently seized on a particular text exchange between FBI officials Peter Strzok and Lisa Page, referring to a secret society. Lawmakers had claimed it was proof of the law enforcement agency's anti-Trump bias. Now at least one of them admits it may have just been a joke. Here's Senator Ron Johnson talking with NBC News moments ago. After reading those transcripts of the text messages, do you think it was made as a joke? Well, it's entirely possible. Let's see what the next text. What about the yeah the number of texts? The missing ones. That'll be interesting. See what they, they right. Do you owe an apology, sir, up. for raising these concerns? We'll see what that. Republicans were also up in arms about the FBI failing to re retain five months' worth of additional text messages between the two officials. Some Republicans insisted that, too, was a conspiracy, an effort to hide the former lovers' unflattering exchanges. Now we have learned that was only a technical glitch, and those text messages have been recovered. Enter Devin Nunes in a memo he claims will blow the lid off FBI and DOJ abuses regarding FISA. Remember, FISA helped expose Michael Flynn's conversations with the Russian ambassador. Now a Trump appointee at the Justice Department is warning Nunes that releasing the memo would be reckless. The top Democrat on the House Intel Committee slammed Nunes and his actions earlier. He is attempting to tar the entire intelligence community, FBI, Bob Mueller investigation in order to once again protect the president. And it's a terrible disservice as well as a terrible distraction. Joining me now is former Trump campaign advisor Michael Caputo. Michael, good to see you. Hey, Katie, how you doing? Um, what do you think of this, uh, this secret society that, that Ron Johnson uh, raised only to later admit that it was probably a joke? Oh, I don't know. I think uh, in text messages between a mistress and her boyfriend, uh, what they're trying to hide from their their spouses can go into all kinds of hyperbole. There was a lot of texts from Strzok to his lover uh, talking like a superhero, uh, Superman, how he's going to save the government. I think there's some hyperbole in there for sure. What it is and which which comment is a joke, I don't know. Uh, but I can tell you this, when I heard that these text messages were missing, I was, it, it, I was very excited uh, because it gave me an opportunity to tell investigators that all my texts and all my emails are available except for those that, would, that went out between June 16th, 2015 and January 20th, 2017 because my dog ate those. Um, they found those text messages, so that's a bit of a moot issue right. now. I, I, and I found mine, too. My dog threw them up, which is probably what happened over at the FBI, too. Michael, um, don't you feel like Republicans, in order to, to take apart the FBI right now, are really grasping for straws? I don't know. I mean, I look at some of the, the text between those two people, some of the activity that is allegedly going on, some of the who commentary. Are, who are having an affair talking to each other in private. Right. I, mean, I mean, no one's saying that any Republican investigator or, or FBI investigators are not allowed to have opinions about politics. Their opinions just can't color what they do. And if there's evidence the opinions color what they do, then that is a real problem. And, Robert that, Mueller and that's the evidence them, we're looking for. The, well, that's exactly. Robert Mueller took them off the investigation, so they're not even there any longer. So are you saying Saying, right. I mean, are you, as a, as a Donald Trump supporter, are you saying that, mm -hmm. that anybody who doesn't support the president or might think negatively of him or might say something to somebody in, in a personal conversation that is not flattering of the president, that they can't be fair? Oh, I wouldn't say that. I think people have a right to their own opinions in politics, but people are at the head of these investigations, at the deputy level of these investigations. They have to be chosen very carefully. As you know, as an attorney, you can donate in America to the campaign of a judge. So the legal profession really doesn't have the concerns of, you know, let's say, for example, hiring someone who donated uh, to a campaign that, uh, uh, of an opponent uh, of the person you're investigating. But, Katie, some of the stuff that's going on, on. It's really concerning to me. I'm trying to keep an open mind. I, I, I've known FBI agents and I've worked with the FBI off and on throughout my career. I'm very concerned about this because I'll tell you, it turns out it might have been redundant if Donald Trump had ever tried to collude with Russia. We're turning to Russia ourselves, and, and, and complete with our own version of the KGB. Uh, I don't, uh, who, who are you calling the KGB, Michael? 
I'm telling you, the people involved in this investigation and the things that I'm hearing that may, in fact, be in this memo deserve to be exposed because weaponizing the Department of Justice. So you're saying Justice, people in the FBI are, are, are actually part of the KGB or acting I like believe, the KGB? No, come on, not part of the KGB. I, I, I was being like facetious, as you know. Acting it's like funny how. Uh, the, the jokes that were told between these two lovers on text are hilarious to you guys at MSNBC. Yeah, but they were, they're private, they're private messages to each other. You don't you're get on it. national television and you're saying people in the right, FBI are acting like the joke, KGB. You don't get it. But it's not, I mean, it's like you can't, it, there are Republicans, and, and not all of them, some Republicans loyal to Donald Trump, the, the, the president himself, and a lot, of, a lot of folks outside who are, who are coming on TV to defend the president. Instead of defending him on his merits, you're, you're going into a, a radical zone to say that the FBI is, is corrupt and the FBI is working in this, in this conspiracy to take down the president. And members of the FBI are acting more like the KGB. I mean, that is a radical thing to say on national television, Michael. Absolutely. It's also a joke, which I was hoping you would laugh at, like you laughed at the FBI text. But at the same time, I'm telling you that what's going on there is very concerning. And I believe that we need to investigate this completely and fully. I believe they should release the memo that was written by the majority at the House uh, uh, Intelligence Committee and see where those, uh, those apples fall. I think we should investigate what's going on. I believe there should be a special counsel uh, appointed to look into these investigators as well. Listen, at the end of the day, there is nothing different between the criticism of the, of the special counsel you're hearing today than we heard during the special counsel investigation of Bill Clinton and the special counsel investigation of the Bush White House. This is just politics as usual, Katie. And wringing your hands over this, I think, is a little bit over the top. Uh, politics as usual seems kind of yeah. sad. Uh, former Trump campaign advisor Michael Caputo. Michael, thank you. Thanks, Katie. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.